you know, this person is willing to put in the work, um, Sagittarius, to contribute financially and not only just contribute, to make their self be in a better position financially, more stable. Uh, so let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, March, we're going to take a look and see you showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. Follow up, say yeah. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes could be messages throughout that just jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so just give me a moment to just just finish laying lean take these in and out so Sagittarius let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys I'm picking up as this to me in your sign, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just looking in the past, there was for you, there was something around communication. You wanted to communicate or communicate something specific with this person. But there's definitely this theme around communication for you. Communication was definitely on your thoughts. So you communicated something, reaching out and maybe reaching out to express or just kind of communicate something but there is this feeling of you holding back or holding on to your financial I feel like this is a financial element there's definitely a holding on to something holding back I don't feel like that's information sometimes I kind of interpret that as information but I feel like this is more to do with finances because there's a lot of pentacles here so um yeah it's this holding back or being protective or holding on to your finances uh, something that you've already built. Yeah, it's something along those lines where this person, there's heaviness there was, and this again is the recent recent past, there's heaviness or was heavy, heaviness around them, um, weighing heavy on them. There was something around this that was weighing heavy on, but they was trying to be uh, patient, understanding, have a bit of compassion there. Maybe this even represents you, but there is this element of this patient understanding. I'm not sure. I'm going to pull on that. See if that, I'm just curious to see whether that was coming from you or them. I feel like it's them. Yeah. And that one's going to flick out. That talks about um, feeling like you're, you, you, you bring some form of positive element into their, to their world. Yeah. Finding things quite challenging. So it's more so them. It's more so them them uh, for some of you that might be a surprise as well but it's definitely them feeling like they need to have a bit of patient or patience around this or understanding um but just bringing it to where the current state of the connection is at the moment if it's out of balance there's a a, a, a misalignment it's not in harmony there's a, a misalignment here it needs to come back into alignment because it feels like you're reaping the rewards of some form of work that you've put in You've definitely put in some work in the past, which has caused you to show up as the Ten of Pentacles, which talks about you now reaping the rewards of all your hard work. So you've put in some work in some area of your life, and now you're kind of just basking in reaping the rewards of that. I feel like it's definitely a financial situation for you, Sagittarius. There's something that you, you know, have been putting and working, and now your 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 ships has come in, you know, and you're basking in definitely basking in that but with that comes a challenge it comes a challenge of you sh shifting or changing I feel like this is more about shifting and changing your mindset around 
protecting, because I feel like there's a protecting element. Again, we're going back to that four. There is this protective element of what you've built. And I get it. I get it, especially if you've put work into it, especially if you've just met this person, and we'll see in a minute to what extent, or especially, you know, because I feel like for this person, there is this challenge, and we'll get to that in a minute. There is this challenge around them being able to make their own way financially, you know, build their own empire or build their finances to a similar level. Uh, yeah. So I feel like that's where that change is coming from, that difficulty to change your way of thinking around, okay, uh, letting this person in, even though they might not match up to you financially. And it's not really so much about matching up to you financially, if I'm honest with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's more about are they able to be ambitious enough to actually follow through to build something, to contribute financially, to, you know, care about their self enough to be able to make their self financially comfortable without having to rely on you or, you know, looking for you to financially provide or support them in some way. And it's like, again, the challenge around that is, is you taking a risk on that. It's like, mm, I'm not kind of sure. Yes, I have the, the ace of cups, which we'll get into in a minute which talks about love, the expression and giving of love, the offering of love. But there is just that challenge around that. I'm going to pull on, going to pull on that some Sagittarius to see what that's, see if we can get more insight into that. And we'll see if this is someone that you can actually trust, trust their word, because we do have that communication there. Yeah, we've got the moon, which expresses... The lack of clarity, you don't have that clarity. You can't see the full picture yet. Is this person going to just rely on me for financial stability? Is this person capable of, you know, getting up and working and producing their own financial uh, contribution to, to this? And their challenge is exactly that. It's the king. We've got the king of pentacles where you're already, I mean, you know, you've got the 10, which talks about you reaping the rewards, but the king is um and this is financial fulfillment and the king is similar this is you this is the king now in a place where they effectively are you know in a better place financially this is the king the highest that you can get and that's in their challenge position so you're right whatever you see you're picking up you're right you're sensing that this person does have some challenges around sorting their self out financially fixing their credit uh you know getting a stable job um you know, and it seems like things have been dragging because, you know, things are not, not turning around for them or has not been turning around for them. And that's what's causing this. we got the free there, which talks about collaboration. Yeah. This coming together and actually collaborating. Being equally yoked. If you, some of you guys have heard that saying, being equally yoked. Being equally yoked. So you're right. There is that sense of, this person might not be up to scratch in terms of that aspect of them and, you know, that, the relationship. So, yeah, like I said, you're wanting to offer love. You know, you're ready for a relationship. You're ready to progress. You're ready to offer that. You're thinking about it. You want to offer it but because you're wanting to advance. Is this someone that you should... The thing that the fact that they, they're willing to pull in what that's on their mind, they're wanting to put in what, and there is this communication for them as well, feeling like they want to communicate something. But we'll pull on that and then get some clarity on that. Feel free to um, let's see, yeah, let's see that judgment. <clears throat> you know, there's still that judgment there. You know, hold on. I mean, usually I'm not going to do the part two reading today, but next week I will be implementing that. But, you know, until it feels right, until it, there is no rush. There is no rush. You've met someone or there's someone that you have in your uh, mirror that has potential. There's potential there for you to bring it, you know, into a space that you'd like. Are they there? You don't know that yet. Are they willing to follow through on the actions that they're wanting to take? which is this work that they're wanting to put in. But, you know, be patient. You don't need to rush. Don't need to rush at all. See. 
Yeah, they're actually drawn to doing that. There's a strong desire to put in work. I'm loving the fact that they've got the page. Loving the fact that they've got the page. So you've not met a bum. This person is a bum. It's just that they've been finding it quite, you know, difficult. I didn't turn it over. I'll leave that. Finding it quite difficult. But there's something around them wanting to communicate. So they're definitely wanting to communicate. What? What are they wanting to communicate? Okay. The progress or the lack of progress within this relationship. Um, the work that something around them. Yeah, do you see that? Acknowledging the fact that, you know, this it's not um, it's not turn into its this connection the relationship is not turning it into its full potential they want to communicate and touch on aspects of that and actually starting again with the full card starting again this i'm going to say to you because we're going to you know usually at this point we move into part two of the reading get a fuller picture and see where this moves to and then what emerges from that but we'll be implementing that next week guys or the week after so look out for that but as it stands i would say sagittarius there's no rush there's no rush for you to make a decision. Let it play out. Let this person show you, you know, if, they, if they're willing to put in what, then let them show you that. Over time, you'll see whether that's the case. You know, I feel like this person, I'm going to call on this wall of fortune because they are finding it quite challenging, turning things around. So this person said just needs some support. Uh, there's something around them finally making a decision and putting an end to something. There's that, there's that, it mixed in with that. So I feel like communicating, using this opportunity for them to want to communicate with you, find out a little bit more about their situation and what's going on. Okay, so hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests to you, as they say, subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next. Bye. 